Our devotional thought today from the Old Testament comes from Leviticus, chapter 9 and chapter 10, and the theme is this. Wise leaders listen to reasonable explanations. Let me say that again. Wise leaders listen to reasonable explanations. Now, again, this is one of those passages that if you blow through it real quickly, you'll miss some beautiful truth. In Leviticus chapter 9, verse 10, and we've seen this repetitively all through Leviticus, we hear the phrase, just as the Lord commanded. But now, everything was great until we get to chapter 10, and we find something that was not just as the Lord commanded. Chapter 10, verse 1, Aaron's sons Nadab and Abihu put coals of fire in their incense burners and sprinkled incense over them. In this way, they disobeyed the Lord by burning before him the wrong kind of fire, different than he had commanded. So fire blazed forth from the Lord's presence and burned them up, and they died there before the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, This is what the Lord meant when he said, I will display my holiness through those who come near to me. In other words, God says, You know what? People who are close to me aren't going to get away with this stuff. All right? I will display my glory before all my people. And Aaron was silent. Now we've seen the consequences for somebody who did not do just as the Lord commanded. And then just a few verses later, we find another couple of sons of Aaron messing up again. Leviticus 10, beginning with verse 16. And Moses asked them what had happened to the goat of the sin offering. When he discovered it had been burned up, he became very angry with Eliezer and Itmar, Aaron's remaining sons. Why didn't you eat the sin offering in the sacred area, he demanded. It is a holy offering. The Lord has given it to you to remove the guilt of the community and to purify the people, making them right with God. Since the animal's blood was not brought into the holy place, you should have eaten the meat in the sacred place as I ordered. Now, notice, Moses was very angry because they had not done as God had laid out things to be done. It's not that Moses was angry because somebody disobeyed him. Moses was angry, very angry, because again, these sons of Aaron had disobeyed God. But now listen to the wisdom here. Verse 19 and 20 of chapter 10. Then Aaron answered Moses, Today my sons presented both their sin offering and their burnt offering to the Lord, and yet this tragedy has happened to me. If I had eaten the people's sin offering on such a tragic day as this, would the Lord have been pleased? And when Moses heard this, he was satisfied. And when Moses heard this, he was satisfied. Now, I want you to notice two things here. Number one, as leaders, it must mean something to us that people obey the commandments of God. I mean, these are not our commandments. We're not angry because somebody violated what we said. As leaders, it must mean something to us that God's commands are followed. But a wise leader also understands that there are times when it's not disobedience that is involved. It's something else. And with Aaron and his other two sons, there was no disobedience here. There was no disrespect here. There was no rebellion here. There was no, I'm going to do it my way thing here. It was the circumstances. So Moses challenged them with questions. But then Moses was also willing to listen to a logical explanation as to why things were changed. Now, beloved, as a leader... You can't just demand, you have to also be willing to listen. Because sometimes when people do things, they're not meaning to disobey, they're not meaning to be rebellious. But there's something else there. A wise leader learns, challenges with questions, yes, but then after they've challenged with the questions, a wise leader learns to listen to a logical explanation. 